I think we often associate storytelling now with visual mediums, with movies, with TV. But actually, at its heart, storytelling is done with sound. My name's Gareth Wright and I'm a sound designer for theatre. Which means I'm responsible for pretty much everything the audience hears when they go and see a theatre show. I got into theatre through music. I had a real sort of love of music when I was growing up. I used to make these mixtapes, and that got me into looking into how to produce music and record it. And then from there, I discovered theatre, and the, the thing that I found that I loved about theatre was that, that you have this connection with a live audience, and you get to feel and hear and see them react to your work. In my work now, I try not to play it safe. I try to find new interesting things to do. If you don't take risks when you're creating work, then you're being safe and probably doing something that somebody else has done before. So it's important to look outside the safe areas and to explore those areas where things could go disastrously wrong, but that's where the interesting ideas are. One of the things I learned at Central was about how to deal with things when things go wrong, because that's a really important skill in itself, and it's what I use a lot, even now. My time at Central was great because it allowed me to discover a way of making sound design and producing music in a space where it's okay to make mistakes, where success isn't the end goal, it's about finding your process, finding your way of doing something. I work most often with a, a theatre director who will come to me with a show or some sort of story that they want to tell. And then we'll start discussing what the best ways are of, of telling that story. And then my job is to sort of go away and, and develop some ideas about how we might use sound to tell that story. With directors that I've worked with a lot, they often give me a lot of space and opportunity to come up with those ideas, to test them against the performance and, and see whether they work. And that's sort of one of the big sort of things of developing a creative collaboration with a director and with other members of the design team. It's building up the trust in each other. These creative teams form, and this is quite a common thing that you have you know, not just a director, but they'll bring a whole team of people with them to making a production that they've worked with lots. And that's how I came to be working on Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, working with director John Tiffany. Making Harry Potter and the Cursed Child was this immense responsibility for us uh, because it has a huge following. And one of the great challenges is that it's set in the wizarding world. And within that world, everything is magical. And so that means everything has to be created and imagined from scratch. And that's thousands of sounds to be made and created and imagined. So that involved me being in rehearsals for weeks and weeks and weeks, trying different things out, creating different sounds and melding them together with the performance. One of the interesting things with sound design in the last sort of 20 or 30 years is how sophisticated the technology has got. It makes me more like a performer using sound than somebody just pressing play on a CD player. One of the projects I worked on recently was a show called The Encounter, and on that we used this technology called binaural sound, which has the audience wearing headphones. And if I were to breathe in your ear, your brain would tell you that I was really breathing in your ear, and it might even start to get hot. We've gone out with a binaural head, which is a special type of microphone that looks like a human head and has microphones in its ears. And we were able to take that around the Amazon rainforest and go to the London School of Tropical Medicine and record these swarms of mosquitoes so that we could play them back to the audience in the theatre environment and for them to hear those sounds as if they were in the Amazon rainforest or surrounded by a swarm of mosquitoes. Even though the technology has developed massively beyond what we could ever have thought possible, the heart of sound design is still about finding out how to tell that story and to tell it well. Mm -hmm.